There are a few things you should know about autocompletion. So when you hit control space, it'll give you a list of the files in the current folder. So if I were to look and find this file in the project view, you could see that it's listing all the directories and files in my current folder. Now, if I want to find the files that match the type of file that should be allowed in there, you can see that it suggests down here, press control space again to search for all matching project files. And this will give me a list of CSS files in my project because I'm inside of a link tag. So I could actually select bootstrap here hit enter or tab and it would generate that entire path relative or not to that file. Now if I hit it a third time, so the first time is the current direct files in the current directory, the second time is all the CSS files or files that match that type, and then the third time is basically every single file in your project. So if there was some random file I'll do a, a search for UG, so some random files somewhere in your project. You can see how that generated that entire path to that uglify hangs to JS file. Um, even a relative path, you could autocomplete to that certain file. Another thing to note here is that if I control space twice and I wanted to narrow down my search to bootstrap responsive, I could type BR because there's a dash between bootstrap and responsive to narrow down my search. I could also just type something like 2.3 to give me everything that has two and a three in it. And of course you could do something like docs and get the first three letters. And it'll highlight in the results the way that it matches those files. So you can see in the first result it has DOCS and in the last result it has DO and then .CS as the match. And finally, in the preferences, there are some options for code completion under your editor settings. So for example, if you want case sensitivity, then you could change the case sensitivity to act on all of your auto completion options or just the first letter. You could even disable the auto pop-up of code completion if you'd like to do so.